What is going on everybody, it's Mr. Uzi here, and today's video is all about USB Type-C, USB 3.1, and why you should even care. So let's start off with USB Type-C. What is it? Well, it's a connector. It's similar to micro USB. Uh, it actually kind of looks very similar to micro USB, but it's reversible. And that's really all you need to know. It's reversible. The cable is just, you know, the same as any other USB connector or USB cable, but the ends of it are reversible. So plugging it in shouldn't be as difficult. Now moving on to USB 3.1, that is the new USB standard. Uh, it's supposed to replace USB 3.0 in that it's faster and it can deliver more power over that connector. Now, why is any of this important? Well, for starters, USB type C is a very small connector that can basically do the job of a larger USB connector. And I see it replacing a lot of them, if not all of them, in all of the devices that we use on a daily basis. So with Apple and Google creating the uh, uh, new MacBook and the Google Chromebook, they're using USB Type-C connectors to power the devices because USB 3.1 can deliver 100 watts of power and pretty much every laptop out there, except for the high-end gaming ones, use pretty much under that uh, threshold. So for powering a laptop, you can use a fairly skinny cable, a very thin connector, so you can get very thin and light ultrabooks and laptops with these new standards. Now, another thing is that USB 3.1 can deliver 10 gigabits of data transfer over the five gigabits per second uh, that USB 3.0 could handle. Now, with that, you can do things like transfer data, such as video, uh, you can connect SSDs to it, hard drives, external enclosures, and pretty much any other device that could previously be plugged in via USB, HDMI, DisplayPort, or any other adapter that would get plugged into your computer, it can replace all that. So what does all of this even mean? Well, for one, Apple, I think, has started to abandon Thunderbolt because USB Type-C is universal, so they can have a lot of third-party manufacturers make stuff for the devices, and it's a lot easier to implement because there aren't a whole lot of licensing fees for USB versus something like Thunderbolt. And since Apple, which happens to be one of the kings of proprietary connectors, is adopting USB, it's adopting a USB standard for one of its flagship devices. That's pretty impressive and that's very important to pay attention to because that means that they're shifting in that direction which means inevitably a lot of other manufacturers are going to be doing the same thing. Now that's pretty much USB Type-C and USB 3.1 in a nutshell. It transfers 100 watts of power, it transfers up to 10 gigabits per second of data, the connector USB Type-C is reversible, and that's all she wrote. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down button. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Also, follow me on Twitter at Uzi with four O's, Z, then an I. Also, I just launched my Facebook page uh, for the channel. It is, I believe, Mr. Uzi YT. Uh, that's after Facebook. I'll probably leave a link down in the description below. And if you have any questions, post them there. Hit me up on Twitter. If you want to follow my Instagram, that's Mr. Dot Four O's Z then an I, Mr. Uzi there too. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.